morning. The, the first lesson for this glorious day for Mother's Day shall be taken from a uh, second king. Second King 7 verse 1 to 20. King 7 1 to 20. I read. Then Elijah said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord. Tomorrow, about this time, shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel, and two measures of barley for a shekel in the gate of Samaria. Then the Lord, on whose hand the king leaned, answered the man of God, and said, Behold, if the Lord will make windows in heaven, might this thing be? And he said, Behold, thou shalt see it with thy eyes, but thou shalt not eat thereof. The four lepers discovered that the Syrian army has fled. Three. And there were four lepers, men at the entering of the gate, and they said one to another, Why sit we until we die? If we say we will enter into the city, then the famine in the city, and we shall die there. And if we sit here, we will die also. Now therefore come, and let us fall unto the host of Syrians. And if they save us alive, we shall live. And if they kill us, we shall but die. Chapter 5. And they rose up in the twilight to go unto the camp of the Syrians. And when they were come to the uttermost, uttermost part of the camp of Syria, behold, there was no man there. Six. For the Lord had made the host of the Syrians to hear the noise of chariots and the noise of horses, even the noise of a great host. And they said one to another, No, the king of Israel had hired against us the kings of Hittites and the king of Egyptians to come upon us. Wherefore, wherefore they rose and fled in twilight and left the tents and their horses and their asses, even the camp as it was, and fled for their life. Eight. And when the snipers came up uttermost part of the camp, they went into a tent and did eat and drink and carried their tents liver and go and remit and went and hid it and came again and entered into another tent and carried tents also and went and hid it. They said one to another, we do not work. This day is a day of good tidings and we hold our peace. If we tarry till the morning light, some mischief will come upon us. Now therefore, Come, that we may go and tell the king's household. Chapter 10. So they came and called unto the border of the city, and they told them, saying, We came to the camp of Syrians, and behold, there was no man there, neither voice of man, but horses tied, and horses tied, and the tent as they were. And he called the porters, and they told it to the king's house within. 12. And the king rose in the night and said unto his servants, I will not show you what the Syrians have done to us. They know that we will be, we be hungry. Therefore, they are gone out of camp to hide themselves in the field, saying, when they come out of the city, we shall catch them alive and get into the city. Chapter 13. And one of his servants answered and said, Let some take, let some take, I pray thee, five of the horses that remain, which are left in the city. Behold, they are a small multitude of Israel that are left in it. And behold, I say they are even a small multitude of the Israelites that are consumed. And let us send and see. 14. They took therefore two chariot horses 
And the king sent after the host of the Syrian, saying, Go and see. And they went after them unto Jordan, and lo, all the way was full of garments and vessels, which the Syrians had cast away in their haste. And the, mess the messengers returned and told the king. Chapter 16. And the people went out and spoiled the tents of the Syrians. So a measure of fine flour was sold for a shekel, and two measures of barely for a shekel, according to the word of the Lord. And the king appointed the Lord on whose hands he leaned to have the charge of the gate. And the people trod upon him in the gate, and he died, as the man of God has said, who spake the king came down to him. Chapter 18. He came to pass, as the man of God has spoken to the king, saying, two measures of barley for a shekel, and a measure of fine flour for a shekel, shall be tomorrow about this time in the gate of Samaria. Chapter 19. And that the Lord answered the man of God and said, Behold, if the Lord should make windows in heaven, might such a thing be? And he said, Behold, thou shalt see it with thy eyes, and but thou shalt not eat thereof. The last verse, chapter 20. And so it fell out unto him, the people trod upon him in the gate, and he died. May the Lord bless his only word for this Mother's Day. I wish our mother's happy Mother's Day.